Hello guys, welcome back. Very noisy outside. It's raining. Okay, another tutorial video. Flashing fast boot ROM. Redmi Note 8. Note 8 Pro. Redmi Note 7. And why Poco F1 and the flash tool I'm going to use uh call Mi Flash Pro. As you know, flashing fast boot ROM must be in a fast boot mode the fast boot drum also can be flashed through EDL the emergency download mode but on all of these four devices none you can flash uh, in EDL mode only in fast boot mode okay let's see the file yeah, hold on let me adjust the camera on the PC this is the Folder contain the all the image. That going to be be uh, that going to be flash into the ROM. This is a fast boot drum for Redmi Note 8 uh, Ginkgo. As you can see, it's too small there. Boot cache. If you see at the CRC list. This is the address for the partition. All the file that are going to be flashed into the EMMC. You see, all this file will be flashed. I think not all. We look at the flash all. This is the fast boot command in the flash all dot bat. It's a batch file. It's flashing XBL, XBL backup, XBL config, FV, metadata. It's not flashing all the file now. Only the file that are that can be updated. The TBO the last one. Okay. The tool that I'm going to use are Me Flash Pro. I'm sorry if the video are too long. Ok, 
Okay, this is the latest Mi Flash Pro tool. It can flash a ROM via recovery, via SP Flash tool. This one for MTK. Mi Flash. This is in a fast boot ROM. Uh, no, no, in a fast boot mode. Any. Show me Paul. Okay, let's back to home. Let's say we connect uh, one of these device. Does it detect? Zoom. Hold on. Okay. I'm connecting it to POCO F1 Yes, it detect uh, POCO F1 Flashing method, me flash Model name can detect okay let me not seven eight minus seven it can detect ah very funny lavender recovery recommended flashing method also recovery why on poco Me flash, but the device didn't mention. You know why? Why on Poco it didn't detect the me device? Because I'm using a custom ROM. This is a custom ROM, not MIUI. Okay, Redmi Note 8 Pro Begonia Yeah See, it detect Redmi Note 8 Pro Flashing method Mi Flash When using Mi Flash, you must be in a fast boot mode If you don't have a fast boot, fast boot mode The only option for the Redmi Note 8 is via SP Flash Tool. Okay, on the Redmi Note 8, device name it didn't detect. Why? Consider this one a uh, custom ROM also. It's not uh, a standard MIUI ROM. This is a Mi Glob. Okay, on today's video, I'm going to flash a uh, fast boot ROM on uh, Redmi Note 8. It's not a pro. Okay, first, if you break your device on the Redmi Note 8 and all partition are gone that means you don't have a uh, fast boot you don't have a recovery all the button action are considered useless you only got the uh, notification LED light up when connect to a PC on 
and that's the consider the worst case scenario. You have to flash it through EDL mode. And also there is another problem when flashing EDL mode on the Redmi Note 8. You must have the authorize me account. Uh, let me see into the me 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 flash pro yeah me flash here the account authorization English Open again I decide Change to English please Have to log out Me flash me this one yes, this one no, yes. What is this? I want to change the language to English. Yeah, there you are. Sure. This computer is bound to your account. You can start now. This computer is bound to your account. It's not the authorization to flash. Only the PC is bound to your account. Don't miss under um, what I mean is misunderstand the term there. Okay, let's flash the let me not eight. First to fast put one thing good about this uh, Mi Flash Pro it will detect your phone automatically now we are in a fast put let me not eight just connect to your phone uh, USB cable see it will detect fast flash in fast put yeah let's uh, put the phone over here recovery SP flash tool me flash when you refresh it will detect as the device ID and when flashing the passport ROM make sure the ROM that you are flashing matching your original ROM inside the phone don't flash uh, the Chinese version via fast boot. if you want to try the Chinese version flash it through recovery and also good about this Mi Flash Pro you can check the 
the current ROM. Let's say I want the red not the current ROM that I available for it. What takes so long? The server, maybe jam. Okay, never mind. The uh, me flash. And then another thing at the bottom here. You see, clean all, save user data, clean all and lock. But I recommend you to use clean all. After that, in a fast boot, fast boot mode. Use the ADB. You give a command fast boot OEM lock that will lock your bootloader. But I recommend you to use the clean all. Okay, press now it's detecting. Select the oh, wait, 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 cannot cancel. Your passport ROM you must uh, select first since I'm already it's already selected I'm just flashing it select where you locate your passport as for me it is on a desktop it's flashing now For the Snapdragon SOC, it's very safe to use the passport. Even on the MTK, the Redmi Note 8 Pro, also safe. Just don't use the EDL mode. After this, I explain it to you why. In case I select the wrong ROM to flash, there's a safety mechanism inside the the file, the ROM, the flash all bad. If the flash tool detect the wrong ROM for the wrong phone, you will get an error here. It will not proceed and you are safe. For the global version, if you want to flash the Indian version via this flash tool, I think you can flash it, but you must unlock your bootloader. For the lock bootloader, I'm not sure. I never tried it. Yeah. 
It's still flashing. See, in the passport. Normally, it takes five minutes. Now, flashing user data. Now the phone reboot. You see the post here. Normally on other, see, it's rebooting. On other Snapdragon, it will tell you that the flashing are finished. But on the Redmi Note 8, its status is post. But the pawn reboot already. Don't worry about that. While waiting for the pawn to boot, so the step here I miss for selecting the file. You locate your file wherever you put it. As for me on the desktop, yeah, Ginkgo. Just click here. Don't click on the image. If you click on the image, you could, uh, couldn't find the flash script because the flash script uh, are inside the folder, not inside the image. Okay, go to select, find your folder, Ginkgo Global, and okay. Now after that you refresh, you will detect your phone and flash. Use clean all. Okay, while waiting for the Redmi Note 8 to boot, Let's say the Redmi Note 8 Pro. In a fast boot mode. About pound, all spec. Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay, this one also. My phone already boot to MIUI 11, the latest global version. Note 8 also boot to fast boot, and Note 8 Pro, always mistaken. If the fast boot partition are corrupt, then the only option is through EDL mode and for the MTK there is no EDL mode I don't know what to call that mode it's a direct flashing via the SP flash tool but if you still got your uh, fast boot mode then see use the flash tool See the it detecting it as a what is ninety five HSO. This is the device ID. Over here, you still can flash the fast boot ROM. don't need uh, any authorized me account for flashing the fast boot the only problem is 
lock or unlock bootloader for the unlock bootloader yes you can press for the lock I'm not sure Okay, let's see the partition on the the device. Pass. Unlock already unlock secure no if you lock it it is yes here yeah. this is the what do you call it the CRC level one for the IMA partition MTK using the NVRAM for the Snapdragon SOC, the partition called EFS. Yeah, the NVRAM. Not so big the file size. NVRAM. to the system after this we no sim card inside <laughs> I'm very sorry about that Maybe I have, yes, I have a SIM card. I forgot to edit. Activate my account. English, China, Chinglish. See, Malaysia automatically. And to root the Redmi Note 8, the procedure are different. compared to the Redmi Note 8 Pro on the stock MIUI on the custom run routing it very simple but on the stock MIUI that's a bit tricky to root it let me do the setting first And my password are very simple MJ MJ K3 K3 
.net Okay, we are already MIUI 11.3, this is the stock one, global, so far no update, yep, 11.03, oh there is an update 04, sorry, 657 megabyte, okay, let's update it. And after this, we root and uh, install TRP and root it with the stock uh, me recovery. You can update via OTA. The file size are very small, but if you are using TWRP, you have to download the full ROM. Maybe around 1.8 GB, 1.6, 1.9. If, if you try to flash uh, the OTA file through the TWRP, if it support the OTA file, yes, you can flash. If it don't support, you will get an error. If you know how to flash the OTA, there is no problem, I think, for download, downloading the OTA file. While waiting, let's see the Redmi Note 7 property. Just now I show you the the partition inside the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now for the Redmi Note 7. Lavender. Where's the EFS partition? FRP. This is the Google. Splash Boot System
Apesis Custom FSG It's not visible here The partition are hidden I think It's not visible hidden partition only you can see it in the TWRP so you back up it and the latest TWRP for the Redmi Note 8 uh, 3318 this is the latest one it is unofficial if you look at the uh, the step they're giving in the forum how to flash the TDRP and how to root it Ginkgo Willow is Redmi Note 8T Ginkgo Redmi Note 8 Here are the C318 still no update Here how the Oh no This is not a tutorial Unlocking the double and routing at me not eight. Here's the guide to unlock the bootloader. Flashing the WRP install the DB. If you follow the step, step by step, you are safe. This is uh, the ADB way to put into the fast boot. You don't need to do that. Just off your pawn, hold the minus button plus the power, and you are into the fast boot mode. Once you install the TWRP, here, wipe and select format data here wipe and select format data why you have to format data there is a reason for it after you format data go back to TWP home don't reboot to your system put the recovery back and install Magis and install the DM variety and force encrypt this abler. This is uh, same as the Redmi Note 8 Pro. The what do you call it? The boot ABB 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 2.0 on the Redmi Note 8. Disable the DM variety. After that, reboot. But if you wipe your data, you have to set it back. That means you reset the pawn to factory <coughs> to factory reset. Everything gone inside. 
format or you don't like. So make sure you have your backup. <laughs> there must be another way to bypass the force encrypt like the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay, we already finished download. Now we reboot the pawn. This is the stock. Stop me recovery. When it's flashing the OTA, this is how it's flashing. For the TWRP, it's different. Some TWRP are support the OTA file. I'm not sure about this Redmi Note 8 TWRP. Waiting for the point to boot. Let's see. Did they mention any support for ATA? Unofficial. I got this. OTG work, OTG only. Backup work, flash ROM work, F2FS support, fast boot command support. It didn't mention about the OTA support. So the TWP don't support stock MRUI ROM. Whenever you receive the update, download the full ROM and flash through your TWRP. You just wipe Dalvik and cache. Wipe those two only. And flash the ROM. So that you will lose your user data. Take a long time to flash. I'm sorry if this video are too long. Already order another one to HGB SD SD card. You see the seller want me to rate him 5 star and extra 1 year warranty meh what on my knowledge as I know the SD are whole life the warranty it says 1 year eh, it's bluffing I'm M1 cashback even good review done. Once a good review done. Sure, I give you five star. <laughs> For gamers, this is a must. Any backup? whatever must be inside here not inside your phone when your phone crash say goodbye to your data very teeny teeny The 
on a booting now let me change the SD card on my oh sorry it's Redmi Note 7 Redmi Note 8 Pro for GB that one does it detect the SD card yes one two eight Eleven zero four. Okay, install the developer and root. Let me see if I got the file inside. Set up phone. Mm -mm. Magis 19.2 Super SU S30M Variety TM Variety Another thing, about the uh, TM variety here, Where is it? Yeah. One is T double P, one is T M bar T. If you download it, you must extract the folder. Something like this. This is the folder. Inside the folder, there is another folder. So the whole file inside it, you zip it with the uh, archiver I'm using the 7 zips this is the zip file if you flash the zip that you download directly it will not flash because there is a folder inside a folder Maybe the mistaken mistake there, there when they zip the file, they zip the whole folder, not zipping the file inside the folder. Okay, let's install TWRP and root the Redmi Note 8. Reboot to boot loader. Okay, yeah, in a fast boot now. Go to your ADB folder, right 
click hold shift button on your keyboard shift right click open power shell window here this year windows 7 no more support from Bill Gate. Okay, the TWRP I'm going to place is the TWRP 3.3.18. Let's zoom in. So fast boot. Boy, oh, not boy. Boot flash. Recovery and your recovery name TWRP dash three point three point one dash eight dot IMG that's the TWRP name and hit enter sending recovery so straight away boot to recovery hold volume minus a uh, volume plus and power once it's reboot release the power button still holding the volume plus According to the guide from the XDA, you must wipe the data. Mm, okay, we follow the guide. Wipe and format data by ES. Home, reboot. To recovery, don't reboot the system. For safety, hold the plus button. After this, we flash root and the embarity. Which one first? The embarity or magis? It's up to you which one you want to flash first. That's the same thing also. So install Alex Torres. It's inside my micro SD. First, I flash disable the empirity, add more, and the super SU installer zip. This is the 19.4 Magis. I take it from the Redmi Note 8 Pro recovery and flash unable to decrypt FBE device what is that Magis and reboot. That's it. If you got boot loop, redo the step. Format data. Flash Magis, Flash the MVRT. Now we are booting. This is a factory reset. Will take a long time to boot. 
have to do the setting one more time. We have to find our shortcut. Another way how to disable the DMVRT without you resetting your data. It must be a way. It's done. Already root. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. So many blocked way. The magic is nineteen point four. <laughs> Have to use the nineteen point two. And some of the Google apps that I don't use will be removed. Before that, have to disable the auto update in the Play Store setting. I don't want them to update automatic. Okay, that's it. My video today. Stay tuned for the next video.